Nawai ni mati ngangan di bawah mati di taki air air lagi. Waktu itu tadi Maya nawai ngangan di bawah mati di taki. Menta dua bata, kamu luta, kamu rusak. Bula, Maya mau apa ni sarana ni? Maya mau mari kau bateri lagi na. Nama kikira, Maya nama tak kamu. Di bawah tiri kali menit menit, Maya nak kena tini nabi mata kan. Mau niti kena bawa rombuka. Bula FM, nama dua yang seri, nasi seri ni rejo, nama dua EBT. In this bulletin, TC Yasa fails to dampen Fijian spirit. FNPF board approves TC Yasa withdrawal. And Fiji stops all inbound flights from Thursday. From the studios of FBC Suva. Prime Minister Varengi Bainimarama is pleased with the show of Fijian spirit and unity in certain communities in the Northern Division, especially at a time when residents are still coming to terms with the loss from TC Yasa. The Prime Minister is encouraging Fijians in affected areas not to rely completely on government assistance and highlighted the need for Fijians to help one another. Government officials are currently on the ground in Vanua Levu continuing their assessment and providing necessary supplies to affected citizens. But you, you can see that uh, there's no problem with uh, anything. We're still laughing, we're still drinking grog. Yeah. The Prime Minister says more help will be provided in due time. I think we're going to provide another 14 days uh, uh, food ration uh, when this one finishes. Okay. Defence Minister Indi Suriratu highlighted that those delivering assistance must ensure all family members in the affected communities are accounted for. 14 days, and there are two separate beds, one for adult and one for a child. So for me, with my family, there are no more child. We are all adults. So I will have five adult beds, one for the father, one for the mother, and the many children. But we want to ensure that we reach everybody quickly, and the intention for that food is food for work. The government, in coordination with NGOs and civil societies, is hoping to assist all affected Fijians in the next few days. Despite losing everything to tropical cyclone Nyasa, residents of Malawi and Rikete remain optimistic. Residents in this part of the Northern Division have started rebuilding their homes with whatever resources they have left. Pranita Prakash has Iron more. roofing blew like sheets of papers when TC Yasa battered Malawi and Rikete for six hours. At around 7 in the evening, we called a neighbor for assistance. He came and picked us up in a vehicle. As we are nearing his home, his vehicle glass smashed. We took shelter at his home and his house started leaking. Prasad says it was terrifying as they had no idea what the next hour would bring. People have no water, food or even any beddings left. No electricity. Even the livestock are dead, but we are happy that the government official visited us and we know they will help us. Some even lost whatever little crops they had on the farms. I used to work at people's home. I used to, to get 10 or 20 dollars a day. My husband, who has passed away, had planted some rice. Even that has been destroyed. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. I have lost my house. But my kids told me they will rebuild. People in this area need food, water and clothes. They remain optimistic that help will arrive soon. Pranita Prakash, FBC News. Fiji National Provident Fund members living in areas that have been declared worst affected by TC Yasa will be able to access their funds for natural disaster rehabilitation purposes. The FNPF board in its meeting yesterday approved a maximum of $2,000 per household which could be withdrawn for TC Yasa relief assistance. This withdrawal will be assessed from the member's general account with $100 being the minimum withdrawal amount. The funds inspection teams have been deployed to Van Walevu and Taviuni who have started visiting the affected areas. Chief Executive Chao Chikoroi says the fund is aware of members who need access to funds for immediate relief and this is being enabled through on-site assessment and submission of applications. Only FNPF members living in the affected areas will be assisted. The Ministry of Agriculture has started distributing seedlings and other farming materials to cyclone-affected families. 
Minister Dr. Mahendra Reddy says this includes over 10,000 seedlings, belly cuttings, and uh, over 150,000 cassava stems. The minister says the agriculture sector in the north has been severely affected. The minister also says 120 staff from the ministry have also been deployed to the Vanuelevu to assist affected communities. He says assistance to other affected parts of the country, including Lomaiviti and the Lao Group, is also being put together. This support will continue for the next four months. So we will continue to attend to this household on a priority basis, the areas of Madhuvata, Goa, the Pandrove, Southern and Northern Lao and Mumaviti, so that these households are supported. Unfortunately, um, the damage is quite large. We have done our initial damage assessment, as we have quantified it, and the figure is with uh, the NDMO. All inbound passenger flights to Fiji scheduled between tomorrow to next Monday have been seized. This has been announced by the COVID-19 Risk Mitigation Task Force. With a new variant of coronavirus in the UK, a number of nations have started imposing travel bans. The new strain is more transmissible, but there is no evidence it is more deadly. The Health Ministry will use this period to conduct an extensive review of its border quarantine processes. The situation will be reviewed during this period and may be extended. Up ahead, Abakuki Tavondi aims for World Cup selection and the Super Football Targets clean sweep in 2021. Come on, I'm Lales Narayne. I'm Red of Fiji to Sunta. Red of Fiji to Eskadar. Yes, I'm talking about Tabua Sahar. My name is Sharma. Then I'm talking about Radio Fiji 2. I'm talking about Radio Fiji 2. My name is Chandra. I'm talking about Raketi. I'm talking about Raketi. Radio Fiji 2 देश की धड़कन Being named in the 47-member Fiji Body Extended Squad is a milestone achievement for Upper Kukita Vondi's rugby career. This is the first time the 24-year-old Nalawa Indra native has been called for the Fiji Body Squad. Out of 47, 14 of these players are resident Fijians, which includes Tavondi. Tavondi knows there is still a long road ahead and he will need to work hard to get a spot in the final squad. Tavondi says he is also preparing for the Ron Messi Cup next year. And uh, also... Uh, it is a big challenge yeah, for me uh, yeah, playing in the Bodifon Cup and going to play in the uh, Ron Messi next year. I think it's going to be a platform for me. Fiji football national head coach Fleming Seritzlev believes Fiji has the capabilities of hosting the OFC Nations Cup. With the venue still yet to be confirmed, Fiji football is in talks with government to have the qualifiers hosted in the country. More than 10 countries are expected to compete in the Nations Cup that is scheduled for June next year. Seretslev says this will be a good opportunity for the national team to showcase their talent. Uh, FDFA is a very good organization, so of course they are able to, uh, to host the World Cup qualifiers. Secondly, it would be a great opportunity uh, for us to play on uh, home soil, uh, so to say, and uh, show... Uh, a kind of football that we hope the uh, Fiji spectators will love. Mostly fine weather will prevail today with scattered showers in the north and along eastern shores of the main islands. And that is your FBC Morning News. And remember, FBC's coverage of TC Yasa continues on our six radio stations with the latest in-depth news. You can also log on to our website at fbcnews.com.fj and also on our social media accounts. Our TV news coverage of the cycle will return at us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. Until then, have a great day. क्या आपको पता है कि 2018 में 1,634 ड्रग और सब्सटेंस अब्यूज के केसेस पीजी के स्कूल्स में पाए गए थे? ड्रग अब्यूज हमारे देश में युवा पीढ़ी पर बुरा असर कर रहा है। इसको रोकना हम सबकी जिम्मेदारी है। 
आपके बच्चे कब क्या कर रहे हैं ये जानना जरूरी है रिपोर्ट ड्रग अब्यूज हाई मैं हूँ आशना एंड मैं हूँ जिया पीजी का बेस्ट ब्रेकफास्ट शो सुनिए वीकली फाइव फोर्टी फाइव टू टेन एम मिर्ची फिल्म आरोप सुनो बिहार ब्रेकफास्ट एंड रहो हमेशा बिहार